Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a slightly different video. This is going to be a very chatty video. I'm not going to be showing any products or anything like that. Um, I'm just going to be talking. So yeah, <laughs> get a cup of tea and I hope you find what I'm going to say helpful. So I have my good vibes top on, I'll show you guys. Good vibes. Um, so yeah, I've got the positivity t-shirt on, <laughs> so we're good to go. It is going to be a video about finishing uni and what do you do after uni. Because for me, like, I feel like you're in a bubble, like, after you finish um, college or um, secondary school, academy, high school, whatever you call it. Um, you know, you go straight into uni and you're just like in this education bubble from like when you're five years old till you're oh now I'm 22. That's like 17 years of education where you know, you know exactly what you, you're going to do and it's kind of like laid out for you. You go to class, you learn. That's how it goes. So like when you come out of uni, you're just kind of left like, what do I do now? <laughs> So I'm going to do a video kind of like I hopefully, I don't know, it helps. I don't proclaim to be any kind of therapist. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope it kind of is helpful. Um, I was going to do a video on like uni, whether it's worth it, whether it's worth going to university or, you know, can you just skip it, <laughs> you know? Um, but I think I figured I really need to wait at least a couple of years until I can answer that question because I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's going to be worth that four years of my life. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave that for a couple of years and hopefully I'll have the answer to that question then. Anyway, that is a whole different video and today is about what's after uni. So you've done uni, forget about uni, it's over, thank god, um, and it's time to look to the future. Okay, so what is next? And that is such a big question. And I feel it gets blown out of proportion hugely. Um, and for me, the answer is super, super simple. Do what you want. Job wise, like you really can do whatever you want, wherever you want. Um, Sorry if I'm looking down, I've like written out notes, <laughs> so, because this is quite a like almost nerve-wracking thing to talk about because it's like serious, <laughs> you know, when I'm doing like my product reviews or fashion or whatever, you know, it's like, it's something that I'm really comfortable talking about, so yeah, just bear with me in this video, um, but yeah, so for me it is super simple, just do what you want whatever that may be, like, literally, like, it's so different in reality, I know I say that and it's like, it's a super simple answer, but it is, it really is simple, but in reality it's not, like, people, the majority of people have so many barriers, they put up so many barriers and it stops them doing what they want. And a prime example of that is the fact that 1%, only 1%, of the world's population earns 96% of the world's money. Which is just crazy. But that just shows though that the majority of people really do put up these barriers um, that stops them like reaching their potential. So number one, fear is like the biggest barrier probably for me and for probably a lot of people. Um, just the fear of it not working out. Like you have this this dream and you know you really want it but it's like what if it doesn't work? Like just the fear of that happening, the fear of failure. You know doing it on your own. Like you're on your own really because it's like your dream and just that yeah that that knowing that like is personally one of my barriers like just knowing that I'm on my own and I think of it more like physically as well because what I want to do, you know, I have to, I, I will move away for it. Which is exciting but at the same time it's like, oh my god, yeah, you're on your own. Like, on your own. <laughs> so that is super scary. Um, 
Thirdly, not having enough money. Like constantly money, money, money. I friggin' hate that because it's just like, oh, it should not come down to how much money you have as to, you know, getting your dream to happen um, and constantly thinking, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough money. So that's another barrier. Um, doubting that I'm good enough because like, you know, what I want to do is like, to me it's huge and I'm like, I just don't think I'm good enough for it. Am I actually going to be, you know, I look at all the people that I look up to, my idols and stuff, it's like, I could never be as good as them. But, you know what I mean? That's a barrier. You're instantly thinking that and it's instantly stopping you. Um, and lastly, the pressure. Oh my God, the pressure to, to do well. Um, like, you know, you always have people asking you, oh, what are you doing now? You know, you've left uni, what is it you're doing? Um, it's just such a pressure to say something really amazing back to them. <laughs> um, and I think everyone feels like that, you know, they don't want to be saying, oh no, I'm not doing that, or it didn't work out, or, you know, again, it's just the fear of failure and the pressure to be amazing, to be doing something amazing, to be doing what you want. And yeah, it's just a lot of pressure. So that, that's like my five barriers um, to, you know, getting where, getting to where I want to be. So yeah, basically what has changed? Well, I discovered a book and I don't want anyone to think I've turned into like a hippie or some kind of, um, I don't even know what the word for it would be, like, you know, like believing in something, <laughs> like people would, a lot of people would just think you're mental. <laughs> um, but that's because of the way that we are, our minds are like, have been trained to think that, you know, things aren't necessarily possible and, um, but yeah, yeah, so anyway, I'll show you the book. It's called The Secret and you might have already heard of it because so many people were talking to me about this book and um, I was just so surprised that I hadn't come across it before. But anyway, I got a copy. I got it just from Amazon, a few pounds. I will leave the link below to where you can get it. Um, there is also a movie and I think it's on YouTube, the full movie, so I will leave that link also below. Um, I've not seen the movie yet though. Uh, I've only read the book, but it's amazing um, and basically it's all about the power of the law of attraction so basically whatever you're thinking whether that be positive or negative thoughts you are attracting that back to you and it's just super super powerful and like literally it just changes people's lives so I'm not going to go into like a huge huge amount of detail about what you know this book contains as such but I'll just like kind of sum it up um, basically what it talks about is firstly you deciding what it is you really want. Um, like you really, really have to want it, um, for, you know, for it to happen. Once you've decided, you know, what is your, what is your dream job, what your dream lifestyle, your environment, like where do you see your life? And, you know, what do you see yourself doing? Once you have that in your mind, you have to start believing that it's already happening or going to happen. And I don't mean far off into the distance. I mean, like, you know, is happening imminently or whatever. You set yourself a time scale. So if it's like by the end of this year, by the end of this month, um, if you always just think of it being somewhere in the future, then, you know, the law of attraction isn't going to make it happen because it's always somewhere in the future. If you're thinking it's happening now and really feel it happening now, then like the law of attraction will like bring it to you. Um, I really hope I don't sound mental when I'm saying this to you, but honestly, if you read the book, it's like amazing. Um, and yeah, you just really have to believe it and always think positive because it's as soon as like negative thoughts come into your mind, that's when like things go wrong and that's when you're drawing negativity into your life. But like, you know, we're all human, like everyone thinks negative thoughts, everyone worries, blah de blah. Um, but as soon as that does happen, you know, you're thinking you're worrying, you're getting yourself stressed about something, just imagine your your dream life, just imagine your dream life in your head and really feel it happening and you know, how amazing it would be for it to happen and like, you know, really enjoying it. So many amazing philosophers have backed up this book and 
um, like doctors and like really big experts that are like, you know, really know what they're talking about, like Einstein, Bob Proctor, um, Robert Collier. These are all like huge, huge people. I hadn't he really heard of them before. Obviously I'd heard of Einstein. Um, but these are like, you know, like major, major people and they've all like spoke about it in their work. And this lady is basically, Rhonda Burney has brought them all together in this book and just shown like all these different people have all spoke about the exact same thing, the power of your mind and whatever you think it can happen. Um, and she's brought it all together in this book. But basically from reading it, I've like noticed it in so many different things, like if I'm watching TV, if I'm like reading books, if I'm like listening to music, I notice it. I like, um, Kanye West, this is going to sound so cheesy, but in this song, um, The Good Life or Good Life, um, he basically says, I always had a passion for flashing. <laughs> so, you know, he always like had a passion for, you know, luxury basically. Um, and he says, before I had it, I closed my eyes and I imagined it. And that is like so true. That's what it's all about. This is like all of it, what this book is all about and what the philosophy of the law of attraction is all about. It's just imagining it and having it in your head what you really want um, and imagining it happening. And like that, that is what I, well, that's what I've always done. I've always closed my eyes literally and imagined like my dream life. I've imagined my penthouse in Manhattan. I've imagined like my high up job in fashion PR and like wearing amazing clothes and having everything I want and having this amazing family and um, living in New York and traveling the world. And just like, I, I, I do that, I imagine it. I, like, I really imagine it. And like the power of your thoughts, um, it works for everything. It works for your like your relationships. Um, it works for money, it works for your health. It like, everything in your life you can you can use this law of attraction on um absolutely anything basically what i wanted to say um in this video um is from that i would say definitely read this book watch the movie like either or um and just forget the pressure forget the pressure of of um like having to do something amazing and like making your dream happen and like making sure you're happy and just just forget that pressure and the worry. What I would do is I would write down exactly what you want to do. Like that's what I do. Like at the beginning of each year I actually write goals, but I would just write down like what it is exactly you want to do. Whether that's like a line or whether that's like a page. It doesn't matter how much detail you want to go into. But just write down exactly how you want your life to 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 work and what you want to do. And like even like however many kids you want to have, just write down exactly what it is you want. Um, you know, you might not want to work. Like whatever it is you want to do, just just write it down. Write down your passion. And the important thing is don't think about the how. Don't think about how it's going to happen. Because in the book, um, they talk about that. You know, you're, you're always thinking, you know, I want to go to New York, but how am I going to make that happen? And then that's how you, when you start building up the barriers of, I don't have enough money. I'm going to be my own. What if I'm not successful? What if I have to come home? What if, you know, I get made homeless? Like, what are they chuck me out of the country? You know, that's you just constantly paint a barriers. Don't think about the how, just believe it is happening or will happen in the very short future, you know? Just really believe that it will happen. Um and live it. Um believe it and live it. Just really feel like as I said, the feelings of you you doing what you want to do. And I've, this is what I've always, always said. Whenever someone said, like, oh, you know, like how am I going to do that? Or like, even if my own family have like kind of said to me, like, look, Clara, like, you need to scale down your, your ambition. Um, and I've always just said though, like, if you want it bad enough, if you really, really want something bad enough, then you will make it happen. You'll find a way of making it happen. Um, things will like literally draw themselves to you. Um, opportunities will come your way and it's you that has to decide whether you're going to take them. Um, but I honestly do believe that if you think really positively 
and just I know I keep saying this but believe it's gonna happen then I really do believe that it will it will happen for you um so yeah that's really what I wanted to say um I have also done a video a wee while ago on like the barriers to what you want to do um and I did that yeah like a few months ago so I will link that below um but um, I hope you find this useful. I think I've just rambled majorly and I probably sound crazy but that's the thing like some people won't get it. Some people will just think I'm crazy and just be like don't be so ridiculous. Of course you can't have what you want but they're the people that aren't gonna have what they want um, and they're probably the people that aren't happy. So yeah Please let me know if you found this helpful um, and if it works for you, read the book, tell me what you think and yeah, I just like wish you all the luck um, if you are graduating from university or or whatever you are in your life, if, you, if you've, you know, been doing something and you know, you want a new beginning and um, you're at that kind of crossroads stage in your life where it could go anyway, um, like you know, it's so cringy to say this, but the world is your oyster. <laughs> that was just like, yeah, so cringy to say that. But um, yeah, it's so true though. Um, you can do whatever you want, whatever you want. Um, and I hope you do. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for lots more. Um, I don't do many of these inspirational videos so yeah it's usually beauty and fashion so subscribe for that um but yeah I'm gonna leave it there guys um yeah believe in yourself bye